the ice cream revolution has been fueled by the spirit of invention. And never has that been truer than today, for the chef has formed a permanent bond with the scientist. All hail the anti-griddle. Colder than a polar bear's posterior, more powerful than a walk-in freezer, able to form a frosty crust with a single flip. If you like to make things very cold and very quickly, or just have way too much counter space, the anti-griddle is the answer to your prayers. The father of the anti-griddle is Philip Preston, president of PolyScience and friend to molecular gastronomists. We manufacture temperature control equipment for laboratory and culinary applications. The anti-griddle is really the exact opposite of a heating griddle. It runs at minus 30, allowing you to freeze things very rapidly. We designed the anti-griddle in a collaborative effort with Chef Grant Ackett's of Alinea Restaurant. He presented the idea of a cooling plate. And so I designed it, and at that time, I thought I'd build two units, one for Grant and one for me, and today we sell hundreds. Remember rock star pastry chef Johnny Uzzini? Turns out he's also a Philip Preston fan. He's an amazing inventor. He's brought so much of his knowledge to the culinary field through his equipment. Pair that with Johnny's knowledge of sweets and inspired desserts are inevitable. The dessert's gonna really resemble what spring is for us. Fresh green almonds, beautiful sugar snap peas. Essentially, it's just a pea puree stabilized with a little bit of gelatin, so it's just pure pea flavor. All fruits and vegetables, when they're at their, their prime and they're really ripe, really have a good amount of sugar. And it's really easy to turn something that's traditionally thought of as a very savory ingredient into something really beautiful and sweet using just a minimal amount of effort. So here's our sweet pea and almond macaroon. The anti-griddle really is only limited by your creativity. The Archef putting down that vinaigrette he made earlier onto the anti-griddle. This is a brand new piece of technology. This is not something that anybody uh, is old hand with, okay? It's still relatively experimental. It's ideally suited to creating layers of flavor and variations in texture that are really difficult to achieve in any other method. I'm not sure if the anti-griddle is the future of ice cream, but it certainly is one more tool for the creative chef.